everyone. I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. If you're new here, please take the time out to subscribe. Um, there will be timestamps, so if you want to get straight to the haul and only the haul, then hopefully, if I remember, I will put them for you. All right, so um, I have an Ulta haul. I mean, I just did my makeup, and I want to say that I used everything that, not everything, most, some items that I got in this haul, I actually just used right now, including the eye look, as you can see. And if you want a closer pick or a closer look to the makeup, the makeup, then head over to Lala Badlands. I will be putting those pictures up right after the live, so you can have a close up look and see of what you know everything look like. All right, so um, the okay, this one was a heavy box. Hi, Star Bell. This was a heavy box when I got it. I had forgotten that I got it. That's how bad my addiction is. So without further ado, let's get into it. Some of the things I didn't even swatch. So where do I start? I don't even know where to start. Hi, Nazarian. Hey. Okay. So um, I do want, let me show you that. Let me start off with the sample. The sample I got is the Garnier Skin Active Merciler Cleaning Water. So there's just a sample of that. There's basically water in a pouch. So random. But okay, I got a, a sample. Something about Ulta, they don't give samples. Did y'all notice that? And they also gave me an, um, a $10 off. $10 off. So I don't know why they did that, but I got $10 off. I will be, y'all know I'm going to be using that. I mean, is there a question really? Let's be real. Okay. Um, Let me take everything out the box so I can see what's least to the greatest thing that you need to see. <laughs> yes, I like your icon. I love it. Okay, here we go. So... The first thing I'm going to share with you is this. This is the Makeup Revolution Mattifying or Mattify Matte and Fix Primer. I don't know who they're trying to dupe here. Probably MAC or something like that because it's all black. Um, but um, I'm wearing it. And let me show you. Does it look matte? It do. It do look matte, don't it? It does look matte. <laughs> it does look matte. So there's that. Then I picked up this here. I didn't open it yet. This is the um, Ulta Beauty Cool Committee Cooling Jelly Face Primer. I'm thinking they're trying to be um, like the milk, you know that milk primer? Let's see, let's see. You're welcome. Oh Lord. There we go. Oh, no, it's not. It doesn't look like it. But let's see what it. Oh. Let's see if it starts to feel sticky. It looks like illuminating, though, doesn't it? It's not really sticky. Hmm, so I don't know who they're trying to be like with this. Oh, but it's Ulta Beauty. Maybe they're just trying to be themselves because usually they are. Okay, so there you go. Oh, it smells really good. Thank you, Nazarian. It smells really good. I like that. Okay, cool. And then I picked up this here. This is the Ulta Beauty um, Effortless Effect Medium Coverage Hydrating Foundation. And I got it in the color Medium to Tan Peach. Okay, so um, it's one of these things. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it because I, I do want to know or want to see if it, it's... Um, I hope it's my color. Hope it's not too peach. But let's te test it here. Hmm. Hey, Reap. Maybe, is it the ch chest? Like here, maybe? That looks like my color. 
What do y'all think? It's a little bit lighter, but it's not bad, right? Okay, cool. So I got that. And uh, this was on sale. I believe all these items were on sale. I don't, I don't know if y'all know, but sorry, let me where is that. Um, Ulta had a sale for one day, and I think it was like on a Thursday or something. I don't know. It was so random. Um, and this, all this stuff was on sale. They had so many things on sale. Okay, so the uh, two, I bought two more foundations because y'all know. By the way, I'm going to give me another tower because I need it. But I got me another foundation. <laughs> Yeah, I can bronze it. Yeah, I think it looks good. It's like it'll be good. It'll be all right. Um, this one I haven't swatched, but this is the one I'm wearing right now. Can I just say? I'm gonna say this. This was the exact replica. Hi, Lori, of my skin. When I blended it out. By the way, this is the Milani Scream Screen Queen. In the color toasted chai. When I tell you, let me let me swatch, let me just swatch it for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This is my color. When I was when I was putting it on, I was like, oh my god. But it is it is medium to full coverage. I did have to do two layers for it to even show up. But look at that. Do you see that? It just looks like my skin. Now I do have bronzer and all that in this area, but look at that. It just blends in. Um, I love it. And it, it doesn't have a bad smell. I like it. Milani. I would hold it up to uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. Dare I say? The Charlotte Tilbury Foundation? All right, moving on. The Milani... Uh, I know, I got it online too, Lori. Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in the color Golden Tan. I'm going to swatch this one. Yes, I know. I know, but y'all know. Don't worry, eyeshadow girls. I got something for y'all. Don't worry. Okay, let's see. Oh, that looks a little orange. I'm drinking um, some white wine with strawberries. That looks like a good color too. Oh, that's another good color. It, might, it looks like a tad orange or reddish, but it blends in really nicely. So there's that. Okay. Then I picked up the Milani Concealer or Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the color Warm Beige. I'm wearing it as well. I think it fits really well with those foundations. Doesn't this look like it, ox like it got darker or lighter? Hmm, I don't know. Can it oxidize to some, a lighter color? I don't know. All right, moving on. I picked up. Okay, so Lori, do you remember when someone on your live said that the physician's formula made a, a, a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury? Remember, and we and she she was not specific on which one. But she said the new one, right? And so this is a new one. And um, I put it on. It is light. It's called. It's in translucent. I don't. I don't remember how many shades they had. But I wonder if this is the one she was talking. Oh, almost dropped it. I wonder if this is the one she was talking about. You're waiting for Milani lippies to go on sale. But I'm wearing it. I'm wearing this right now. Let me tell you. I put it on when I did my face makeup. Y'all know I do my eyeshadow after. And while I was taking my sweet time, getting sweaty and and doing my makeup, um, it didn't, it just didn't, it, 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 it was like, I don't know, it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. It is, it looks ashy. 
Um, but you know, I blended it out and put bronzer. And so, um, I ended up using the, um, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. So all in all, it's, it's not a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. That was a, a, a bold face lie. And I don't agree with that person. So there you go. All right, moving on. I picked up two more powders because I don't have enough powders. Again, they were on sale. Um, I picked up this Makeup Revolution Bake and Blot. Um, am I going to return it? Probably not. It was on sale. Um, lace. In the color lace. Probably not. I don't know. Um, let's see. Well, that looks really... Yeah, save me. <laughs> that looks really ashy. Hmm. But it is to bake, so let's swipe it away and see what happens. Where's my swiping brush? Here it is. I don't know. I got to try it. I got to try it, but we'll see. I, I usually like Makeup Revolution stuff. We'll see if it'll work out. And then I picked up the CoverGirl um, Clean and Fresh. This was on sale. Healthy Look Pressed Powder in the color medium. So this is my color. Ooh, that, that's, that's like my color. And I usually like CoverGirl powders. I don't know about their foundations. I mean, well, their foundations are okay. Um, but other makeup, like there's certain foundations I fuck with. But there you go. Let's do that one. See what that looked like. It looks ashy too. But it looks a little bit more peachy. Again, I have to use it. I don't know yet. So there's that. And then I picked up the Makeup Revolution Makeup um, Blusher Reloaded. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it might go away with that or it might go away with like when I bronze and I just kind of blend all the powders together like I do. It might go away there as well. Um, but I got it in the color Peach Bliss. It's supposed to be peach. It looks more pink. But I'm wearing it. You can't really tell, can you? Can you see it on me? I'm wearing it even on my nose. It's really light. Hmm. It's really light. I like I like that it's light. I really like that. Something you can build on, definitely. And then I picked up the Florence Cream Blusher. Florence by Mills Cheek Me Later Cream Blush. Y'all know I love me a good cream blush. A, a light flush of color. It looks like a highlighter. Yeah. You don't. It doesn't look. It doesn't have like a shimmer on it. It definitely doesn't have a shimmer. Let me show you up close. There's no shimmer really. So this is what this one looks like. It's called Zen Z. Zen Z. Zen Z. Ooh. So she looked like. Thank you, Nazarian. Um. Uh, Hmm. I'm putting product on product today. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Hi, Cam. That's pretty. I like it. Now, I don't know if you can use it on your lips, but I'm sure why, why couldn't you? It's a cream, right? All right, let's get to where we're, we're here, why we're here, probably. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Nabla. I've been eyeing this brand for a long time. I don't know if they're Latina because some of the names in this palette that I have here, 
um their latina like latina name so um i picked up two palettes and they were on sale is why i picked them up and i don't remember how much they cost but this is the nabla cutie palette i didn't use this one today but this is what she looked like here's the package and here are the colors we're gonna do a swatch I already swatched the shimmers. So let's get into it. So there are those colors. Your grandma has it? Oh, cool. Yeah, does she wear it a lot? All right, the next palette is this one here. I forgot to show y'all this one. The Revolution Roxy um, Roxaris Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm wearing that as well. Hi, Tish. Because y'all can see I already opened it because I used it. And I will say this. it's The dark is dark. The dark is dark, but there you go. If y'all are y'all curious about this highlighter, there you go. Y'all are curious about that highlighter, but this is dark. I use mostly this one with just a tad of that one, but there you go. And then I picked up this Nabla palette. This is the Nabla secret palette um they had the other big one that they had at ulta on sale as well again this is on sale look how pretty can we just appreciate the packaging look how pretty that is i think that's so pretty and it's what she looks like and i use this one today and the colors i used were this one this one this one this one and this one for my under eye but yeah oh this one on my inner eye right here that white you now see the makeup yeah so there you go i i like it there's nothing there's nothing bad to say about this palette i really really like it so there you go That is the haul. I hope y'all like the haul. Um, today, um, on my lips, I'm wearing the Pat McGrath, um, this blue one. I thought it went well with my eye look and the hair. I thought I'd just bring it all together with some silver. And um, there you go. So, all right, everyone. Thanks for um, coming through. I hope y'all liked everything. Um, if y'all, again, y'all want to see a closer look of the look, then head over to Instagram. I'm going to be putting pictures up right now. I had a photo shoot already. I just didn't put them up. <laughs> uh, did you go to Ulta or is that an online? It's an online order. I did not go to Ulta. I am distancing myself from places. Um, I want to go to Michael's because there are some things that I want to get. Thank you, Reap. There are some things that I want to get for, um, like the fake plants that I want to get for my outside, um, you know, stuff to decorate. So, thank you, Nazarian. So, I definitely, um, 
I'm just being more cautious than I was before. Before I wasn't really taking it that serious, but um, I did find out that there are um, two people that I know that pass away. Um, the numbers I heard from what they've been reporting, they've been going down, but still, one person is uh, is too many people, you know? So, um, thank you, Naz. Um, so, yeah, they've been going down, though. They've been going down. So, it's just best for me, for my health, and, you know, I don't, it's not, it's not worth it to, you know, I'm just going to have to order online. That's not a bad thing. Because, I mean, I hate people anyway. <laughs> You're welcome, Nazarian. So, all right, everyone. For dinner, I'm going to be making leftovers. Um, well, I'm going to eat salmon with a kale salad. And Rue is going to be eating leftovers, which was um, ribeye steak tacos. And um, beans. Because I made some beans with some um, Texas. Yeah, well, think about it this way. You got to think about this too, Reap. Texas is a big state. Isn't Texas like one of the biggest states? Besides like Florida or California? I feel like, um, of course, we're going to have more numbers. Because we have more. We probably have more people. Ohio's numbers are high. I don't know how I'm going to do the salmon, to be honest with you. Gotta get creative. I have some imitation lobster I could stuff inside of the salmon, but would that be too much? <laughs> would that be too much? Hey, Jasmine! So, yeah. Um, I, I can't believe that I forgot about this haul. That's what I cannot believe. I just cannot believe that. I was like, I was waiting on my fire pit. My fire pit's supposed to be coming. And I was like, that's not my fire pit. That's that's the Ulta bar. And then I started thinking, did someone buy me something from Ulta? Um, oh, what state am I featuring next? Okay. Um, I don't know. What am I? What am I featuring? What's in California? I know you put on there, but I forgot what. I gotta go back to the videos and read the comments. Um, what is California famous for? People want me to do barbecue. Oh, okay. I know what's what is okay. Let me tell you something. Broccoli and cheddar stuffed salmon. Oh, I have broccoli. Oh, I don't want to do cheddar. I don't want to eat too much cheese. Let me tell you something. Try tip and ranch style beans. Homemade ranch style beans? That could be interesting. Um, Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma is the one I'm gonna do next. Um, the fry bread, the Taco, Indian tacos with fried bread. I think that's what I want to do next because I've always wanted to try the fried bread. Um, yeah. And this girl didn't request it, right? But she's from Alaska and they eat seal. So I want to try to get some seal. <laughs> they eat seal and, um, um, what's it called? The, the whale fat from the whale what's it called i'm only you're trying to be on a diet but here i go eating whale fat <laughs> but anyway um no seals yeah i guess i i shouldn't do seals because okay well you gotta understand too that's that's what's um that's what's on their land is seals like they live right off the water so i'm not hating on her but i guess i should not do because i live in texas and there's other meat that i could get um but she, you know they eat it raw which i think is very interesting you really okay so i'm gonna start uh, i'm not gonna tell you all the series i'm gonna start but i'm gonna start a whole different series it's another cooking series and I, flubber, yeah, but if there's a different word for it. It's not called flubber, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's not that. You look so, it's that, but not that. It's not what it's called. Um, I already showed the products I use, girl. It's in the haul. I use the Milani for foundation, the Milani for concealer, 
the powder physician's formula, but then I put some of that Charlotte. Let me tell you something. Charlotte Tisbury will cover anything. That Charlotte Til Tilbury palette. If y'all want to color a patch on finish, y'all want to patch up your wall, use that Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I use this um, contour, and then I use this palette. You should tell us. No, well, there's other people that watch, so I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, can't do it. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it. That's Oklahoma. Okay, oh, then, and then Kansas City Ribs, or, yeah, Kansas City Barbecue. And uh, New York, is it steak, egg, and cheese sandwiches, or egg and cheese sandwiches? Thank you. Thank you, Ju thank you Julia. Um... Who else requested? I wish more people would request like really authentic, unique things. Not just like, I mean, I want a popular food, but something unique that's something that's hard to get to. Do you know what I mean? Florida, I don't know. What does Florida, what does Florida have? Florida has, I don't know what they're famous for. Someone from Florida has got to tell me. Crime? Uh, all right everyone look at me seafood oh yeah seafood throw in all the stuff new york has that one dish that it which what is that we have a new yorker here so oranges yeah oranges thank you Lori. yeah or yeah what is florida known for um like old people cubans and no that's See, Cuba would be a whole different series. <laughs> okay, girl. That's cool. You're tired? Cuban food? But, that, but that's, that's for Cuba, though. That's not authentic to Florida. There's got to be something in Florida. So yeah, we gotta figure that out. But anyone from Florida, give us a a, a, a suggestion. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just, girl. I'm just sitting here waiting on that like this. Oh, can, let me give you an update on the post office. What what ha happened? They called me. I missed their call because I was in the shower, and I called back. They don't answer. So then I called the one eight hundred number at the post office. And here's what they told me. Here they closed the case, and here's what's gonna happen. Okay, bye, Jasmine. Um, here's what's gonna happen. They said the re resolution is that the carrier has to make a daily. What was the term? Like he basically has to write down that. I have a delivery or if he got, I don't even remember what it was. It was something. And then the other thing was they suggested that I put my name on my PO box, which I do in black and red letters. The outside light is outlined in red letters, my husband's name and my name and my nickname. So they basically was, I feel like blaming me for what he did wrong. So I opened up another case. Only because I want to talk to them on the phone. Because I don't, I'm not. Can you explain? I just want them to explain. All I want is an explanation of what their, their what the resolution was. But they don't answer the phone. So I had to call the big number. You know what I'm saying? I'm not calling to open a different case. It's just I want to someone to call me back so we could discuss what. Hi, Marlo. What the. Um, what the resolution was because I didn't understand it and why is it closed without even talking to me I don't want him to lose his job I just want my shit I want my packages I want my mail I don't want to have to go to everybody and pick up my stuff so all right hi Willie all right everyone so I'm gonna let y'all go because it's been 30 minutes and I think that's a good time for a live I hope everyone um, enjoyed the, 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 the haul and as always I appreciate you for coming through and commenting and participating as always thanks so much i appreciate you all right everyone bye oh yeah as always wash your face wash your hands 
and wash that ass. Bye, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry, Marlo. Girl, that's why you got to put them notifications on, girl. So you can be here in the beginning. Be that, um, what do they call themselves? The people that get here first with the notification crew. There you go. 